I'm so excited to tell you what we're gonna do today. I used to do this when I was a kid all the time, but I haven't done it for a long, long time. So I found these very furry, fuzzy coconuts at the shops the other day. And when I shook them, they had lots of creamy, milky stuff in here. So I was so excited to buy a few and show you how to open a coconut. So that's what we're gonna do this sunny afternoon. In order to open coconuts successfully, you're gonna need a few tools. I'll show you what I have in my bag. A wooden chopping board, a tea towel or a cloth, a bowl, very important, I'll show you why. Then I have a hammer, lots of fun to use a hammer and also a screwdriver. So those are the things you're gonna to need to open your coconuts. First thing I'm gonna do is peel back the layers of this hairy stuff off my coconut. And it's a mission, it takes a while. You need to be patient, and you need to be really strong when you're pulling these layers off. So just take your time, <laughs> just sit back and relax because it's hard and just pull off these layers. Sometimes you get lucky and get a big chunk off and other times you only get a few little hairs off at a time. So just don't give up. Keep pulling until you've cleared away all of this, this hairy stuff and then we're ready for the next step. So I'll show you once I've done that. I've peeled back all the hairy stuff on my coconut and now it looks like this. Coconuts are really interesting because they've got these three little holes. No, not holes. They're kind of softer spots than the rest of the coconut, which is so hard. And these three little spots here are called eyes. For some reason. Do you think it looks like they're looking at you? Hmm, maybe. Now that I've peeled back all of the hairy stuff on my coconut, I have taken my cloth and just folded it roughly into sort of like a square shape and I'm putting that on top of my chopping board. Then I'm gonna take my coconut and put it on top of the cloth just so it, so it doesn't slip when I'm poking it. Because what comes next is you're gonna take your screwdriver, make sure you've given it a bit of a clean because this is going into your coconut. And you're gonna poke these three holes. <laughs> yes, those three holes. You're gonna poke them with the screwdriver until you push through those softer parts of the coconut and you've made three holes in those eyes. So I will show you how I do that. My screwdriver pushed through this eye really, really easily. So there's my first hole. It's really struggling to get into this eye. That eye is very hard. But let's see how this one goes. It's a bit hard because I can't hold the coconut, but let me just see if I can poke that hole. That's quite a hard one too. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to stop and then show you guys what happens after I poke through that hole. Oh, right. I managed to poke through that hole as well. So I've got two of them open now and I'm going to try get my screwdriver through the third one as well. I really could not poke through the third hole, no matter how hard I tried. So two of them are open, that one and that one. And what I do now is take my bowl and turn the, pine <laughs> the coconut upside down and let the water, the coconut water from inside dribble out. So you can see that slowly coming out there. And I can just leave it upside down until all the water is out and you can't hear anything when you shake the, the coconut. Look at it all dribbling out. And I don't know if you've ever tried coconut water before, but it's so delicious. It's one of my favorite things to drink. So you're gonna have something to drink and something to eat with this coconut. I'm shaking my coconut now and I can't hear anything. All of the coconut water is out, and this is one of the most exciting parts. Um, I'm moving my coconut water that's in the bowl aside. I'm moving my screwdriver aside. I'm moving the other coconut aside. The cloth goes to one side, and then I'm putting my coconut on the 
on the chopping board and I'm getting my hammer out because what do you think is coming next? Let me show you. I'm going to hit the coconut and crack it open with the hammer. So that is what the coconut looks like inside, isn't it beautiful? And this white part tastes absolutely amazing. If you've never tried it fresh before, then that'll be something really exciting to try. The best way to get this white part, the white flesh out, is to get a knife and to dig it down in between the, the husk, which is the outside part, and the, the flesh, which is the white part. And that is can be really a little bit dangerous. I would really please ask your mom and dad to help you with this part. They should have really helped you with the hammering part and the screwdriver part too. So this will be a project for the whole family, um, but it's really worth it and so delicious. You can try the, the white part here, the flesh, and the juice is absolutely amazing, or the coconut water. So there's the coconut water that I got out and yeah i hope you enjoy trying to open a coconut make sure that you um, look out for ones in the shop that when you shake them you can hear the water inside that's how you know it's still good and it hasn't gone a little bit bad um, while being transported from wherever your coconut came from so enjoy go try open a coconut and um, i hope you find it as fun as i did